Hello again everyone. In our previous video I was uh, talking about the interface. In this video I'm going to be showing you how we update the basic flock and how it works and how uh, everything goes together. I'm going to turn off the uh, recording for now. Not this recording, I mean recording the movement uh, that we put lines. And let us start the flock. So basically our flock uh, starts when I press the play button around here can see it's going a bit fast so these are the parameters I use to control anything here and so before I start um, you can populate it with any type of points like it's usually this box this box around here this is my container this box so I populated one of these surfaces this is uh, one of the, our components it's, uh, Deconstruct it does basically the same thing as Deconstruct V-Rip and Grasshopper, but it's more organized. Anyway, so whatever surface I choose, he puts the the agents on. Any surface I choose, as you can see. Usually I use this surface, the one to the side, the left side. So if I press play, it just goes. And just reset every time, press reset every time I change anything here. So if I make it a bit slow, as you can see in our plugins, everything goes dynamically. You don't have to reset every time. As you can see, they are in small groups. As I said before, it was well, each group is one, uh, one meter radius, so I can make it more. And as I raise this, you see groups become more clustered like there are less groups and more herds and each one is big enough and this is between each one is 0 0.1 I can make it bigger I have it 0.5 as you can see this is between each one is becoming bigger and bigger yeah now it's becoming bigger and bigger okay let's let's reduce it again I'll raise it again so we can okay so I've separated the herds now 1.5 and the distance is just 0.45 okay now there are more again in there distances and I can draw a line uh, here using the record button just records every position and and every time it just outputs the position to to this polyline, so it's and I can always use clear in the middle, so it clears the data. Here's the line I'm using. You can make it a bit slower than that. Okay, but but you have to re reset. Yes, if you, uh, in this case you have to reset it. But these parameters don't require any resetting. So I can control anything here. Um, like the alignment for an example. I can make him go less toward the, the, if I reduce the alignment, they just have cohesion and separation. So they'll just be moving around trying to cohese and separate from anything. Just control Z. If I reduce the cohesion, you'll seeing you'll see them just separating and going to all directions. Let me clear it up a bit. If I reduce the separation, they will just go go inside each other. As you can see, they're all inside each other with a bit, with a bit of separation, but they're all inside each other. And if I reduce the alignment, well. Is the, they st start stopping to go towards a certain goal. There are many parameters you can use to control this. Like, uh, you can get any type of, you can get different behaviors, like reduce the cohesion a little bit. 
reduce the separation a little bit so it's not going inside each other like, like this so they are more they'll be more into straight lines if I press the clear button you can see that there is less separation here and reduce the cohesion a bit it will go into more of straight lines again and you can control it any, anywhere you want so this, that'll be it for this video um, next video I'll be telling about uh, the behaviors and how they work stay tuned <laughs>